I like your shirt, your plaid. Thank you. Thank Everyone you. liked that too, and I love it. Where did I get this from? Maybe it's from Levis. What's Levis? It's Levi's. Oh, it's Levi's. Oh, it's Levi's, isn't it? They make the jeans. <laughs> Sometimes they make a little shirt too. Oh, they make the jeans, they make the little shirt. Wonderful. <laughs> What'd you fall over for? What'd you fall over for? <laughs> Welcome to Brain League. <laughs> it's a cold open, baby. We haven't done a cold open. I think we have, but it wasn't good, so no one remembers it. This or maybe is it, fair. maybe it's an episode that won't see the light of day because we have done that where we record stuff and then mm -hmm. don't want it. Do you mind if I take my socks off? <laughs> um, no, go go ahead. <laughs> Man, you people, you, you people that aren't on YouTube are really missing out. He didn't show his feet, so don't go. No, don't so go you didn't scram. miss much. You just missed beautiful comedy i i forgot to turn on the ac in my room before we were doing this because i wasn't in here all day and it's hot outside and i have blackout curtains so it just acts like a radiator <laughs> and now my room's like it's like 28 degrees in here which hold on moment what's 28 degrees celsius and fahrenheit it didn't give me the answer it just gave me google results <laughs> I, quick quick figure it out <laughs> i thought it was gonna be like what's 28 degrees celsius and fahrenheit your address is <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let, let's see. Sorry to leave this in the episode, but it's important. It is important. I still can't believe that zero Celsius is 32 Fahrenheit. What are you guys doing? All of our shit is fucked over here in America. It's 82 Fahrenheit in my room. Uh, that's hot. That's a sweaty bitch. That's a... Do I have pits? I mean, pit stains? Have... No. A, a little it's bit. It's a smidge, but you really can't... It's not noticeable <laughs> unless you really look at it. Um, yeah, you probably wouldn't be able to smell it. No. Welcome back, everybody, to Brain a Leak. I'm just leaking all over the place. He's I'm already staying leaking. leaking. He's already staying on brand. How about you guys at home, huh? You been leaking? You leaking? Have you been leaking? Post post your fluids mm. on the Brain Leak subreddit. <laughs> this is dangerous. This is very dangerous. Oh, yeah, we did. I want to clarify that because we did say it was like Brain Leak podcast, but apparently they got r slash Brain Leak. So now everybody's just on that one. So the other one that's longer, forget that. It's dead. It's buried. Just go to r slash brain leak. Yeah, give us your stuff. Maybe we'll do a Reddit, a subreddit episode, baby. Yeah, basically the more in, the more stuff you guys give us, the more we have for the episodes and you guys can be involved in them. So mm -hmm. post everywhere. Post everything everywhere. All at All leak. at once. Good one, bro. Thanks, man. I've been really working on my improv. Is that why you're all snuffly? You're uh, allergic to your own comedy? I'm just so stuffed up full of full of funny, you know? It's uh, yeah, mm, congested with good jokes. Man. You're a funny guy. Thanks. <laughs> I think you're funny. I think you're funny. Wow. Look at that. What do you think what do you think your comedic talent is? Let's let's compliment each other, but first compliment ourselves. Oh. Uh, I think when I really shine is when I'm able to bounce off of somebody else. Mm. I think I'm good yeah. when I'm uh, when I'm in a room with somebody and they're doing something and then I'll get to go, yes, and. We've yet to see it, folks. <laughs> yeah, someday <laughs> we'll bust it out, baby. No, I, I, I agree. That was going to be my thing for you that I think you're good at. What do you, what do you think you're good at? I think I'm good at coming up with a very quick retort. Mm -hmm. I think I'm good at hearing a situation and then coming up with a very quick thing to either add to it or make a joke out of it. You're very witty. Yeah. I think my brain works very fast. That was something that I wanted to bring up, actually, that I wrote down on a sticky note and then I left it in my kitchen. Um, was I, uh, speaking of your brain working very fast, I've seen a lot of comments, uh, that make, that make my heart happy of people talking about the podcast and being Oh like, yeah, I was going to bring that up as well. Oh, our brains are the About same. it being like perfect for ADHD people. Yeah. And it was, it was just like really heartwarming to see people be like, I really like the podcast cause it's so fast and they just go from like one subject to the next, but it's like at the speed that my brain works and it's really nice. Maybe it's not for everybody, because maybe that's obnoxious for some people, but I feel like so many people have ADHD, and there's so many comments. We're like the ADHD podcast now, where yeah. it's like, I love it. They move on so fast, <laughs> and I actually can pay attention. <laughs> I'm like, that's great, but <laughs> I I, I, we didn't mean you. for that. <laughs> um, Thanks. No, it's very heartwarming, though. I, I really like yeah, that Yeah, so 
when I shit my pants, it was like a really. <laughs> I was trying to think of the yeah. craziest thing I could move on to immediately. We, but I couldn't. Every every week we get uh, like an email of different like title suggestions and stuff. And this week, one of them was Sean and Ethan talk about shitting their pants again. And I was like, "Fuck! <laughs> did we do that again last week?" God I think last week we we added more to it. It wasn't just shitting. It was. When was the last time you combed <laughs> your pants? We have to escape. Yeah, we're in like an event horizon of like toilet humor. We're like circling the bowl right we now. We either have to escape or we have to make it a segment where we bring in other people's shitting their pants stories. Oh my god. But hold on. Is that going to be our thing? Because we kept talking about if we have guests on, which we will eventually. We just want to get in the groove ourselves first. We we're like, we bring people on, I wanna have a recurring segment. Yeah. I was like, we could get them to jump into the bad advice stuff, but now it's like, are we gonna talk about when they shit their pants? I think it's- Is that our thing? I think that it could have potential. I don't know. Yeah. You should call it ass leak. <laughs> oh man, fuck, that's good. Yeah, but I, I like that people appreciate how how quick we move on from stuff and just like, I don't know. Yeah. It's a podcast for the people. The neurodivergent <laughs> people. <laughs> and that makes me happy. Yeah, because that's one of those things that every time you're growing up, you're like, man, I'm a freak. What's wrong with me? Why don't I want to do normal things? And now it's like, we're all freaks together. We're all freaks. No, I, I think it's good because uh, I think we've talked about this before. I think we share this same unfortunate thought because of like, <laughs> because of my ADHD, I've always felt stupid. And so I think it's nice for, <laughs> maybe for people to be able to listen to the podcast and be like, oh, no, other, other people are stupid, too. <laughs> My idols are idiots! We never, like, build each other up in this category. It's always like, oh, thank God, someone else is a fucking <laughs> failure like I am. Yeah, it's perfect. That's that's my biggest insecurity. That and how I'm going to fit in these jeans later. Oh, baby. I My biggest insecurity is my intelligence, and always has been. Even when I was in school, I was like, what? Math? No. What about cum? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh, that guy. <laughs> and it's the same on YouTube. You're standing in a corner in a classroom, <laughs> like looking at the wall. Mad? What about? <laughs> Hold on. For This is for the YouTube audience. Hold on. Wait for it. Ethan is going to his Matt, corner. Matt, what about cum? <laughs> oh. <laughs> the teacher's like, okay, Sean, do you have the answer for it? Oh, what about cum? <laughs> <laughs> the class erupts and I'm like, great. I, teacher's office. Oh, I do have a good story about going to the principal's office, but I am sure I'll never come back to that. <laughs> I I feel like that got worse when being on YouTube because I started off YouTube just being goofy and energetic and f I think funny, mm -hmm. but for some people it's too much and then other people think it's hilarious, but then eventually it's like, what else can you do? And I'm like, what else can I do? <laughs> what else can I do? And then I when I'm playing games and everyone's like, oh my God, he's so stupid. He can't figure this out. I'm like, I know, don't point it out. I hate it. Yeah. It makes me feel so bad about myself. Yep, that's always how I've felt forever. And it was kind of nice, like, eventually figuring out that I was dyslexic because in school specifically, I was like, I, like, what is going on? Like, why does yeah. everybody else understand how to do this thing in math or can, <laughs> like... You people read? How do you, how are you reading? And uh, it was, it was nice being like, oh... I do have a problem. <laughs> like, I'm not just yeah. dumb. I have a disability. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, there's an actual, like, thing wrong. I'm not just stupid. That's cool. Yeah. It also gets worse being on YouTube as well, because there's so many people who are not like that, who yeah. have regular brains. Mm -hmm. And it actually is a legitimate disability. And when I got ADHD diagnosed, I was like, I knew it. Yeah. But also, now there's an excuse. But then... People got so used to me not having it for so long that now people are like, no, you're still stupid. Yeah. I'm like, no, guys, there's a reason guys, now. Guys, please. I got dropped on head. Brain no work. It doesn't work. It's just leak. Just leak. <laughs> no, I, I think about that a lot sometimes, like watching some other streamers. Like I was thinking about it the other day because I, I stumbled into a Hassan stream. And he was oh. going off about a bunch of stuff. And I was like, 
How do you know so much information? <laughs> like, I don't how does it stay in your how head? How does it stay in your head? And how are you able to regurgitate that correctly to your audience? Yeah, I can't do. I anything. mean, th that that probably just comes from repetition of doing the same thing. Like, I can go on and on about sound design, and you can talk about cameras all day, and other people are probably like, "How the fuck do you know that? How do you know what an aperture and a white balance and a ISO does?" And it's like, that's just the basics. <laughs> <laughs> that's just the basics, baby. You Can't get... you tell how good our cameras look? Look it. Everyone listening, they're like, no, I can't. Shut up. Can't you tell what they... Um, anyway, I got sent <laughs> to the principal's office because I drew a giant penis on an A4 piece of paper. Nice. And I had a free period. And I is was A4 like... A4 uh, really big? A4 is like standard. Uh, eight and a half by 11. Oh, what is that in centimeters? No one cares because everyone just calls it A4. Oh, they don't do that here. Imagine how small a piece of paper from A24 is. Oh, jeez. The bigger the number, the smaller the page. Is that... A3 is bigger than A4. That's wild how that world works. <laughs> yeah, it's like I can't do math, but I know what the fuck a page looks like. Yeah, I, we always just called it a standard printer paper, just eight and a half by 11. <laughs> <laughs> eight and a half by 11. Yep. <laughs> what kind of... Uh... I'm trying to think of what other American humor I can fit in that doesn't involve guns all the time. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> or like shooting shit. It's kind of like half your, half your country. Um, I went to the principal's office because I had a free period in class and we all got to sit in like the cafeteria and it was like, because it was a bunch of classes that had a free period because the teacher was off or a couple of teachers are off being sick. So we all sat with like 30 people in this one room and then everyone else was like doing homework and I was like, you think I'm going to do that before I get home? It's called homework, not do it in free period work. <laughs> so I I sat down and I started drawing a piece of paper or a, a penis on a piece of paper. And isn't it weird that every penis everyone draws is always circumcised? Why is that? Man, I've never thought about that before. It's, uh, well, well, sometimes you just draw the, the hog and you don't draw the tip. It's just basic. It's like two circles and an oval. The most basic penis. That's true. That's a hooded figure. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I drew that, and then I, my my friend was behind me, and I was like, eh, check this out, <laughs> and then like showed it behind me, and he started laughing with his with my other friend, and then my teacher was like, what is that? Show me. And I was like, oh man, you're not gonna think this is cool. <laughs> <laughs> and I showed it to her. She was like, we're going to the principal's office. And did you guys have like a year head? They were called like our tutors, which was like somebody who was over your whole class. That if something went wrong, they were the one to kind of like handle that group. Mm, uh, we had that on a smaller scale, I guess, which was an advisor, which we went mm. to like... It's probably the same thing. We went to first period or like before first period, before the bell rang, we would go and just like yeah. sit in a room and then... For like roll call or something. Yeah, that was yeah, it. Yeah, same thing. So they were brought into, and that my one was the hot French teacher that I was talking about before. And she had to come in and I was like, oh, she's going to see my penis. <laughs> and they, they were like, as a piece of shade, they were like, you're going to have to bring that home and get it signed so your parents know what you did. And all day, <laughs> so I was racking my brain about this. I was like, my parents are going to be so upset and they're going to be mad at me and I don't want to show them this. This is so cringe and embarrassing. And then at the very end of the day, when we were like all going to bed, I brought it in. I was like, I have to get this signed for tomorrow. Please don't be mad at me. <laughs> and my dad looked at it and he goes, is that a life size? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, I shouldn't have been upset. And my mom was laughing at it. And I was like, my parents are cool. That's so good. You should have had that framed. Going to the teachers the next day, I was like, here you go. <laughs> Flopping on the desk to be like, what do you think of that? <laughs> Uh, they were. Uh, they must have thought my parents were very upset, but my uh, parents were chill about it. That's really funny. But that, that's the kind of student I was. I didn't do much else. Mm -hmm. I didn't really get in trouble. Not to talk about school again. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> you're sneezing so much. It sounds like you're not protecting yourself online from viruses. You ever go on the internet and you just feel unprotected? You're going out there raw? Yeah. That's not good. Dude, NordVPN is the rubber you need. 
I know, you gotta be protected from hackers and criminals and people who are trying to grab at your precious information. Look, no one knows about leaky stuff more than the prime leakers. So we know that when your IP address is being leaked all over the internet, you gotta hide that shit. You gotta hide it. So what better way to hide it than the wonderful people from NordVPN? And they do it all, baby. You can watch sporting events, TV shows, films, which aren't available in your region, switching your virtual location to anywhere else in the world that's showing that event. That's right. They don't just protect your information. They give you access to a bunch of cool stuff that otherwise you would not have. Sometimes I want to watch cool anime. Then I switch my VPN to Japan. And it says, oh, sick. Now you're on Netflix, you got all these cool animes that you wouldn't get because you're in the US. Yeah, you can be a weeb anywhere you want. And not only that, but sometimes if you're living in a different country, that it's cheaper to buy stuff from that country. Like if you want to rent a car or you want to purchase flights, it's actually cheaper to purchase it from the country that you're going to or where you're going to be rather than purchasing it from yourself. So you can put your location anywhere and then buy flights to that place from that place or rent a car before you get there. And it's cheaper. And this doesn't just happen at home, you know? You can be protected with NordVPN while you're traveling the world using public Wi-Fi. NordVPN protects you wherever you are. And it's the fastest VPN in the world and it's only the price of a cup of coffee a month. Man, Sean, that analogy works really well. That really puts it into perspective for me. Whoa! Okay! If you want that, you can grab your exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com slash brain. Hit it with them again, Ethan. That's nordvpn.com slash b-r-a-i-n to get a huge discount off your NordVPN plan plus four additional months for Free. Oh, that sounds completely risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. And it is! Well, to talk about uh, different forms of leakage, I have a story that happened this week. Spencer, my sweet baby boy, got s no. he got skunked! Oh, he did! He got skunked! And it's still- Wait, okay. What does skunk smell like? Because I've always wondered. What's the best, uh, skunk, like, comparison? Skunk kind of, like, it's kind of stereotypical that people are like, skunk smells like weed, which I can... Oh, I guess it's called skunk. Of, it kind of does, a little bit. Is that the closest to the smell I that you can think of? I guess so, yeah. It has that same, like, pungency but it's, it's a little bit We're just smoking different. weed all, you're like hot boxing your house and yeah. then Spencer goes outside and you're like, oh, oh. guys, it was the skunk. <laughs> oh, oh he skunked everywhere. Oh, oh no. God. So um, skunky. It still smells like skunk in my house and I have not been hot boxing my house. I don't know where it's coming from. I think it's in, like the smell is just like <laughs> in the drains in my bathroom. Uh, did, he, did he get together with the rats? I know, right? They've been they've been forming diabolical plans, which I think the rat problem is gone, because I haven't heard any uh, squishy scratches, and I've been checking in my attic, nice. and there's nothing there, which is nice. Um, but yeah, I uh, normally in the in the morning I'll I'll have a cup of a cup of Joe, maybe some top of the morning coffee. <laughs> It's the only coffee to drink. It really you also is. don't need to say it like that because it makes it sound like you're joking, which is, it's my livelihood it that is. you're making fun uh, of here. Listen, it's kind of, it's kind of like if you had a cup of coffee and it was really good. Oh, I'm there. <laughs> I'm really painting I'm a picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm there. You're really Bob Ross, that yeah, one. <laughs> but um, my, my yard is fenced in, and so I'll just open the back door and then just have my cup of coffee, and then he goes about his morning, and he, he likes to just, like, go pee, go poop, and then he just sits in the oh yard. Oh, my God. Did goes, he get sniped by a skunk while he was out? So, yeah. So he saw a skunk in the bushes, and I have rabbits in my yard, and so a lot of the times he'll, like, start to chase, and then he'll be like, ah, I'm fine. Um, he never, like, actually mm. goes after them. And so I think that happened with the skunk. And I think he got, like, a warning shot. Um, but I went out. <laughs> Off the bow. Yeah. I I went out, and I was like, Spencer, let's come inside. And he was, like, rubbing his face on the yard. And so I was like, ah, oh, fuck. Like, normally when that happens, it's like he found something and he wants to roll in it. 
And so I was like, yeah. damn it, he's doing something. And so I went down there, and his eyes were all red, and like his... He was hot boxing. I know. I know. He Maybe he was... May, maybe. He came back, and he was like, oh, what's up, dad? Maybe he was trying to cover it up. He was Did smoking the, weed, and then he was Did like, you see oh, the squirrel? <laughs> dude. Me too. It's a conspiracy. Spencer is trying to pull the wool over my eyes. What an <laughs> asshole. But uh, he, his eyes were all red, and he had uh, like skunk juice all over his face. Um, and so he was just like rubbing, so I had to bring him into the, into the bathtub, which like... He doesn't, he doesn't mind getting baths. He doesn't like it. But he was really confused because I had to, like, flush out his eyes to make sure that it was all out of his eyes. And so he was very upset. And then I had to, like, get this special shampoo. And I had to give him so many baths. And then I had to do, like, a, a, an apple cider vinegar concoction oh. to get the smell and the acidity off and, like, all this stuff. It was a really big day for him. And it still... Kind of smells like skunk in my house, which is awesome. You gotta get close to a skunk as well. <laughs> a skunk! Cause they, they just spray it out of their asshole. They don't have good aim with that, I don't think. So you gotta be like right up in there. Yeah, I think, I think they're real quick too. They just, they see you coming and then they just whip around pa! and they pa! Like a Damn. shotgun. Why don't we have a defense like that? I know, we should. Like, ha! Pee in your eye. <laughs> Run! <laughs> That's Run. it. Leak. I wonder what is. Hold on, Jamie, pull it up. Uh, <laughs> what is the hole that skunks spray out of called? Did they just have a gland? Yeah, it's from their ass. Wait, you just get an ass juice? Skunk spray consists of a chemical called <laughs> N. Butley. B U T L Y. <laughs> no. Mercaptan, which is a pungent mix of sulfur based compounds. The skunk stores oh. uh, the spray in the glands positioned alongside its anus. That's why it needs to lift its tail to spray. Damn, you're getting assed on every time. I was, uh, I, this is the first time that I've dealt, uh, personally with the, the skunk. Uh, juice skunkage because my dogs got sprayed when I was a kid a couple times but my dad took care of that I didn't really have to do anything your dad was just hot box yeah he was just smoking weed in the backyard and it was like oh man we gotta get the dogs a bath <laughs> it's like Randy Marsh be like oh the ghosts oh the ectoplasm <laughs> but he I didn't realize that it had a it had a color to it it's like a it's like a radioactive yellow not like a not oh. like a not like a it's piss like not like a piss yellow, but it's more like vibrant than that. Mm. Um, and so he had it all over his chest because he has a little bit of he has a little white on his chest. But he he looked like he was just like stained. My my oh. poor boy, my poor. It's like poor when you boy. when you take a multivitamin and just piss it all out, and it's just putrid yellow. Yeah. Or I just take riboflavin for like migraines. Apparently that works for migraines. And I was like, that's in cereal. <laughs> Wait, like yeah. They put that what? in cereal all the time. But apparently, it's like vitamin B something, but it's called it's riboflavin, and apparently that works for migraines for some people. Also known so as I used vitamin to B2. Yeah, I was going to say B12, but that's wrong. Um, it's vitamin B2, but it if you drink, or if you take it in a pill form, I was just pissing like putrid yellow, like glow-in-the-dark yellow. Yeah. Uh, and I imagine it's like that. That That is very... A, a good descriptor of it. It did look like it would glow in the dark. <laughs> yeah, it did. But yeah, he got skunked, and then uh, had to had to wash him off. And now uh, all of all the skunk juice got washed down the drain, and so I think it's just kind of sitting at the bottom of it because because I gave him the bath, and then I closed the I closed the shower the door, um, mm. and then I went back later and I opened the door to clean the shower and I was like hit with like a wave of heat that wasn't like you're, like you're like that TikTok where it's like you walk in and your vision goes bro you're like ah! <laughs> that's exactly what it was like your ears start ringing <laughs> it did it felt like I was hit with like a weird flashbang I was like oh whoa dude it's uh that's what it was like being in Tampa for creator clash God. like the whole place was just like skunk ass <laughs> it's so fucking humid in Florida I don't know how people live there people shouldn't people shouldn't live there if you live in Florida get out get out of there yeah dinosaurs still live there I don't know 
all those that's a gators, red flag already. All those gators. We gators. should do a we should do a video where we where we where we go and learn about gators. Yeah, we'll go. We'll hit up Charlie oh. and go gator hunting. We should do get a that. get a fan boat. Oh, oh Charlie would be blown I'm away. Get a fan boat. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I wonder if Charlie's ever been gator hunting. I feel like that's something that he'd probably do. They see that white yeah, T-shirt he, though, and those gators go running. Yeah, he did pull out his guns in the Sneeko video, so that is true. I'm like, there's more depth to you than I realized. But it's crazy because some of the some of the gators they know about about Charlie as moist critical, and they're like, oh man, I don't want to mess with that guy. He's gonna slam me with some <laughs> with some crazy heat. And some people. And by people, I mean the gators. They just think that he's Jesus. And so they're like, oh, yeah. fuck, Jeebus is coming. It's like when he walks in that water, we'll get him. Charlie's hair. I that... love Charlie. But, but Charlie's hair is going to be taller than him pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I I aim to have that hair. Oh, my long, luscious locks. I can only dream of yeah, it. Yeah, how long are you going to grow that sucker out for? Is this, I'm waiting, this, waiting for another three or four inches. This is the longest it's been, right? Or was it longer yeah. when you had the the like top bun thing? No, no, no. This is way longer. It looks good. I, the top, the top bun is. Thank you. It's luscious now. Yeah. Well, you um, you finally gotten past the like awkward stage of length where it's like, do I just wear yeah. a hat all the time? Because it's kind of weird. Yeah. If I let it down, it gets way too bushy. I don't have that like long, silky, oh, like L'Oreal commercial hair, uh, where it's like shiny and silky. I just have that like Bushman hair, where it's just it goes out and then down. Well, have you been, have you been taking care of her? How you been? Yeah. Treating? See, I I wash, I condition, I hair mask, I have a leave-in Ooh. moisturizer. Ooh. I have like oils that I put in. It doesn't fucking work. I still have Bushman Irish crazy hair. Can I get a sneak peek? And the people on YouTube get a get a sneak peek of what it looks like when it's all down. But give us Oh hell yeah, baby. See it all just moves in like one piece. Yeah. It doesn't like it's not like strands. I'm like a video game character. My hair is just like done in texture cards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's like it looks really cool when it's up, but it doesn't look as cool when it's down. Mm -hmm. I'm like, why, why don't I have that? Like, look at this. This is like a different guy. Well, Who's this guy? You might be, Aaron Yeager. You might be due for a, for a touch-up also. Because, yeah, I need to get it thinned out. I have very thick hair. Yeah, because when I was growing out my hair, I, uh, I realized, I was like, oh, I can grow out my hair, but I still have to get haircuts to make it, yeah. <laughs> make sure it's like growing out well. I can't just let it, let it grow. Let it grow, let it grow. Let it grow, baby. Wait until it's on the floor. I think it looks good, though. I think uh, Thank you. pretty soon you'll reach Jesus level. Oh, man, you should do a Jesus photo shoot. Oh, when we do the Christmas album, <gasps> I'll oh. be there, like, we could, like, get, like, a big white toga. Mm, I don't know if the Christians are going to be happy about that one. Well, it's fine. <laughs> They've done a lot of things that I'll... I haven't been happy with. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's fair enough. We can and get I a cool Catholic, donkey. so I can make fun of it. Exactly. We can get a big. Manger. I'll just put myself on the cross. Yeah. Put myself on the cross and say, "Bigger than Jesus." Yeah. But only where it counts. Hell yeah, dude. We'll have an extra nail Jesus on was... that cross. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Jesus is well hung? Oh. And not man. in like on the cross sense. <laughs> if he can turn water into wine, I'm sure. He uh, did himself some favors, if you know what I yeah. mean. Yeah, and he converted a lot of I mean, 2,000 years later, we're still talking about it, so he had mad Riz. <laughs> he, Jesus' Riz was... <laughs> the king of Riz. Oh, man. It was on another level. God's son? It, uh, talk about a fucking Nepo, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Literally, Jesus Christ. Oh, boy. Do you think every time he went anywhere, people were like, oh, Jesus Christ. And that's why it, like, took off. Maybe that... Oh. I like to think he took his own name in vain. He, like, got kicked in the balls, and he was like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> that's such a weird thing to think about. Like, you yeah. stub your toe, and you're just like, oh, fuck, Ethan. Ah. Oh. Uh, oh, me. <laughs> Oh, Jack Septic Eye! Fuck! Oh. oh! 
People should start doing that. All of uh, everyone listening, please start uh, using your own name or spread the spread the name of the podcast. Just start <laughs> yeah, using oh, brain leak. start using brain leak as an expletive. <laughs> yeah. Oh, leak. <laughs> leak it anyway. Oh man. Oh, get the leak out of here, dude. Man, I was in the grocery store the other day, and I was like, I'm, I'm just wanting some cookies. I go to the cookie aisle, and there are so many choices, and I just could not figure out what I wanted. Yeah. In a sea of options. It's so hard to figure it out. <laughs> and for people who don't speak stupid, those are biscuits everywhere else and not cookies. Well, didn't have to be so mean about it. But not to fear, Ethan, because when it comes to shaving, Harry's makes it easy to consistently give you the better razors and in-store options at the best price. I got a nifty little pack from Harry's recently. They sent me a little try up sh trial set, and boy, oh boy, was I pleased. What was your favorite thing about it? Because I liked, I got the little, like, shower gels, and I really liked the fig one. I was, like, squirting it. Mm -hmm. You know how you go, like, ooh, 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 and you, like, squirt it up into your nose, <laughs> the smell? And I was like... I can't wait. And it made me smell so good. I really liked the uh, the razor that they sent me. It's got this great handle that's weighty and it's metal and it feels nice. It feels expensive, but you get it at such a great price. And that shave, baby. My face is like a baby's bottom in the sense of its softness. Yeah. I don't shave my face usually with razors like that, but I used the one this time to like shave my neckline. I shaved up here. I used like the little tiny single blade on the back of it to just like trim up my edge, make it all nice. Look at that hair. Look at that face. Baby smooth. If you would like to try out the trial set that we got, the starter set is a $13 value for just $3. At harrys.com slash brain. Where? Harrys.com slash brain. Oh, it includes a five blade German, German engineered. engineered razor. And like I said, weighty handle. Perfectly balanced, crafted like a samurai sword. Oh, the shave gel, it feels so good. I just want to squirt it in my hand and rub it all over my face. And it's got a little travel cover, which is nice. So then you're not just leaving it on the counter wet and for the, something to rust. It keeps everything protected and nice. Yeah, and you don't have to look at your razor and be like, oh, I'm afraid to touch it. It might bleed me. No. And the nice thing, too is I forget about things a lot. So it's nice because you can schedule replacement blade delivery whenever you need them with refills as low as $2. So I can just schedule it in advance and then I realize, oh man, I'm about to run out of blades. Nope, a new one just delivered to my door. Easy peasy, I don't even have to think about it. Yeah, that's incredible. And they stay sharp too. You're gonna have the best looking face in the land. Anybody out there that needs to shave, it's not just faces, you can use it for your legs too. You can use it for your ass. Shave whatever you want. Shave wherever, whenever you need, and you will be so surprised Yeah. with how amazing you look and feel. So save the hassle. Set up your delivery and get the best quality shave with Harry's. Harry's.com slash brain. Slash brain. That's Harry's.com slash brain for a $3 star. Say worth $13. I would like to ask people to make funny brain leak TikToks. Like when, remember that trend that was like, oh shit, I spilled my shit. And then it would like go into a <laughs> thing. You're gonna have to tell people exactly what it is because no, I don't like, even know what you're you know, talking about. No, they'll know what I'm talking about. When you like dump over a thing and then it's like, oh no, my <laughs> eggs or whatever. And then, oh. <laughs> and then it goes to a, Whatever. Or like they got your fetish. Let's see what you're into. It's like, oh, oh, brain leak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perfect. Just turn them all into brain leak. It's like criminal brain leak, <laughs> offensive brain leak. When are we gonna do our first uh, our first video? We've been doing them. No, but I mean when we people can see our faces right now. Oh, no, when when we go and. Lick the Blarney Stone, or when we go when and- When we go and lick the brain. Yeah, yeah, and we oh. milk a cow or something. Funny thing, I changed my Twitter to the bloody brain, the banner on my Twitter was the brain leak brain, and I got my account locked for like 
a little bit of time. I had to delete the banner because it broke media guidelines. There's porn on Twitter. Yeah. What the fuck? I guess not in banners, you're not allowed to do it, but they were like, oh, it's gory. You're not allowed to do that. I'm like, it's a fake brain. That's stupid. I should have just wrote like fake <laughs> pointing yeah. at it. Parody. <laughs> That's stupid. Yeah. Oh, I hate that. Oh, I hate that. Oh, stupid it is. That's a bummer. But yeah, I I think we're heading to LA in June. There's like a video game concert thing happening at the Hollywood Bowl that we got tickets to. So I might go a little longer and we can record some bad boys. You know the town better than I do. What can we do? Oh man, we can... Uh... Go shoot up meth? <laughs> yeah, we could do meth. We could go to... Um, we can go to Hollywood Boulevard and point at stars and go, wow, that's a person. What's our favorite star on the Hollywood Walk of Shame? Oh, uh, fuck, what else can we do? I don't know, we'll figure something out. If you have any suggestions, you let us know in the... Anywhere you want, just send us anything. Yeah. But yeah, lots of, lots of ideas that we could do, but mm -hmm. we have to be able to, like, go to... It's like, yeah, we can do a lot of things, like go to a trampoline park. But then it's like, are we allowed to film in there? And also, what would the video be? Yeah, we'll think of something cool. Something real cool. Like go-karting, but it's like, yeah, but that's too much effort to set up so many cameras to go-kart. And then you're just going around a track. But then we can record some, uh, we could record an, an episode or two in person. We can, uh, we can do it for person for sure. When I get in there and we go, we should sit down, we should have a couple of beers in our hand and we can record an episode or two. We just do it in the back of a pickup truck. Oh man. The Ford F-150. That would be kind of cool if we had a little redneck hot tub. We put a little tarp in the back of a pickup truck no, we, and then we fill it We can't water. become super mega. That's like, they have That's that true. market cornered. That is true. They, they are going to be sponsored by like the NRA or Black Rifle <laughs> Coffee any day now. <laughs> Proudly sponsored by the NRA. And the thing is, it would work and they would make it so funny yeah. and make a parody out of it that would actually be hilarious. So good. I loved the video when they sponsored a NASCAR driver. It was so yeah. funny. It was so, That's so, so funny. clever. We should what can do, we sponsor? We should do that, but with uh, F1, with Formula One. Mm. We sponsor that, That's like a several million dollar sponsorship. No, 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 it's fine. We just, we just, you know, get up there with Ferrari. NASCAR, NASCAR don't care. <laughs> it's true. They just go in circles. It's a lot more, uh, it's a lot more expensive to uh, sponsor somebody going left and right. <laughs> when you only have to go left, <laughs> it's, it's a lot cheaper. It's because their cars cost way more money. It's like the pinnacle of human engineering when it comes to how fast can a car go in a circuit. I love the sound that a Formula One car makes when it's like doo, doo, it's doo. Doo. Yeah. Yeah, you know? I'm feeling the G's. <laughs> Could you feel it, man? Just... Oh, it was like being in the cockpit with Lewis Hamilton. I was like, wow, Louis, how you doing? Well, oh, we should do a defensive driving course. We learn how to drift and we go I don't even think I can. I don't have a license. <laughs> well, if it's on private property, you can do anything you want. Right? Mm, I guess so, but are we allowed to record that and put it out in the world? Isn't that illegal? If I don't have a... Well, no, no. I don't think so. Can we uh, find some place and, like, you drive me crazy? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, I mean, we could just put you in my like, car and I just drive you around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just your chauffeur for the day and that's the video. <laughs> the thing is, I know how to drive mm -hmm. and it's all, most cars over here are manual. So, and you are like one of the only people I know who are American and does manual. Mm -hmm. So, that could be a video. Yeah. I'm going a little, I'm going a little thing. I could, wow, man. Let's find a field somewhere. Someone has a field. Well, I'm not in LA. I, sh I wonder what the legality so is for a flight in a parking Flight lot. in Nebraska. In a parking lot? Can you drive in a parking See, lot? See, people people train all the time in parking lots and like dads bring their kids and stuff like that. Yeah. Their moms. How sexist of me. I did that though. That's when I learned to drive was in a parking yeah, lot. Yeah, but you're not license. filming it and putting it out on the internet. This is true. It's like you can do anything you want as long as you're not caught. <laughs> Oh, we can go do meth and then learn to drive. Yes. Because you'll, you'll, you'll have to relearn at that point. <laughs> yes. Oh, damn. Easy. 
easy content. But baby. I I know how to drive. I know how to like get the car going and everything. I'm just not fluid at it. You just get super defensive. I know how to drive. Okay, I'm... I know how to drive, and I talk to women, okay? <laughs> Big deal! Fish fear me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> What's that from? You haven't seen that hat that's like, women want me, fish fear me? <laughs> no! <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> now I gotta look it up. Jamie, pull it up. <laughs> There's a bunch of uh, parody <laughs> hats of it that are like, women oh, want like fish. Oh, it's like a fisherman? Me. Yeah, it's like, women want fish. Me, fear me. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the one I saw, the alien one, who was like, in space, no one can hear you in space. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's good. That, that, that's a that's an idea though. We need we need simpler ones though. Like there's all the simple ones like horseback riding and stuff. But yeah. you've done most of them. Oh, why is my voice cracking so much? Well, oh. here's the thing: is I know you what did you're most about of them with say. the uniani. Yeah, but you know it's dead and gone forever, and that was years ago. Now it was. Years you're wearing ago. it on your chest. <laughs> I am wearing an Unis on a shirt. That's funny. Um, we can do it again. And it's, you know, it'll live on. We can do it, but British. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ever at horseback riding. Exactly. How delightful. You got it with Unis on where you had like two people on opposite ends of a spectrum. Now you get it with two people on the same end. Yes. Yes. See, there was always a reasonable one. That like someone that yeah. was teaching us how to do things could deal when with. When someone's the goofball and someone's the straight man, but what happens when it's both goofball? <gasps> all, all goofball, no breaks. Damn. All goof, all the time. Stay leak. Let's go. Let's go. We should. <gasps> we should do a video where we fence. We should go fencing. Oh yeah. <laughs> We should do every type of sword fighting. Oh. We should go axe throwing. Oh, axe throwing. We should do that. I've never done that before. Me neither. And I, if, if the axe flies back and decapitates one of us, oh. Imagine the so thumbnail. Cool. Oh, oh man. Epic. I mean, archery's on the table. We can do loads of things. Bowling. Mm -hmm. I, like, I like getting out and getting physical though. I like doing stuff out and about. There's many things that we can do when you visit. I didn't know that you were coming in June. This is very fun. Yeah. Very fun. So maybe get to thinking. Get Jocelyn on it. Maybe in June we can film a couple of episodes in person and maybe we can have our first guest on the podcast. Oh shit, there's a lot of people in LA. Yeah, loads of people. Loads that of people. That would be cool. Man. That would be cool. Oh. Who gets the eponymous first slot? We could do a fun thing if we wanted to and have like a little podcast set built but it could be it could be a surgery room <laughs> where they're <laughs> oh, laying I do kind of like that they're laying on the surgery table and we have like full surgeon scrubs on <laughs> <laughs> oh i do like that that's kind of funny or oh or we could make like a therapist's room oh, and both of us good. are like therapists and they have to lie on the bed for the podcast oh that is kind of good Ooh, i do like that but we, we can't we can't continue that though because i don't live there yeah but we could we could uh, it's right. like a set for when i'm in town yeah <laughs> Let's rent an office just for when I'm coming over. I'm sure there's already a therapist-y looking set in LA that we could rent. That's true. They, they do have time. everything. They do. Oh, where where I did Iris, they do have the hospital set, but they also have an airplane. Oh, <laughs> they just have like airplane. a cross section of a plane. <laughs> We just do every episode that we film in person in a different set. <laughs> I kind of love that, actually. To ask questions, we have to come as like with the cart to be like, anything from the trolley, dear? <laughs> we can so be on a funny. train. Oh, man. An endless world of, of opportunity. We should do a brain leak murder mystery. Who killed the brain? Who leaked my brain? Oh, yeah. It's like Cluedo. Or Clue, as you weirdos call it. Wait, you call it Cluedo? That's the original name. I didn't know that. Yeah, and you guys call it Clue for some reason. Because it's like, hmm, Americans won't get that. <laughs> Cluedo. I don't know why it's called Cluedo. Cluedo. You're calling, you're talking about the board game, right? Yeah. Oh. Like Colonel Mustard in the kitchen with my ass. <laughs> Colonel Mustard 
murdered by ass in the kitchen. <laughs> Colonel Mustard got face sat on. Cluedo, also known as Clue in North America. A play on Clue and Ludo, which is Latin for I play. Cluedo. <laughs> Cluedo. Cluedo. Um, we should, um, I did see a thing that people wanted us to do on the podcast at one point, which was a word association game because we have ADHD. Yeah. And I think that that would be funny. Speaking of games. Speaking of games, why don't we do it now? I'll go first. <laughs> I'll give you words to think of. Wait, so I'm saying the first thing that comes to my mind. Yes. Okay. Water. Wine. <laughs> 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 wow, that's a fucking big degree of separation. No, it's Jesus. not. Jesus. Fire. Ice. Yeah, see, that's the standard one. Uh, camera. Tits. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I know what you get up to in your spare time. Now me, you. Okay, ready? Uh, coffee. Beans. <laughs> okay, beans. <laughs> yeah, coffee. You can't do that. Okay, uh, corn. On the cob. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, ooh, ah, ooh, ooh, ah. I never thought that the fast part of this had to be you thinking <laughs> of the know. word first. Hair. Who? <laughs> <laughs> How does your brain work? It doesn't. Okay, hold on. Ready? Uh, I. Balls. Good. <laughs> Balls. Come. <laughs> okay. Um, Bloodborne. Epic. Wow. That's a real game if I've ever seen one. Give me more. Uh, drive. Four. <laughs> <laughs> Teeth. Teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, your brain does not hold work. Hold on, hold on. Go again, go again, go again. Wall. Ball. Okay, it's just turning into a rhyming oh. game now. Okay. Uh, okay. I need to... I need to babies. see my mind. Diaper. Ooh, now you're getting it. My brain would immediately now went I'm to dead. Figuring it out. <laughs> dead baby. Dead baby. Influencer. Shit. Uh <laughs> No, you said it. Okay. You Freudian. Yeah, this is true. Okay. Chair. Chair. Cushion. Mm. Oh. I guess. Hair. I I already Brush. said hair. Uh, okay. Uh-huh. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now you do me. Okay. Fridge. Magnet. Okay. Uh Plant. Life. <laughs> I, all I thought of was pictures of plants in my head. I saw yeah. like a fucking bush. Oh, here's a question for you. I have a question for you. Um, when you think of things. February 7th. Okay. Isn't that what? <laughs> That's my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> if you're thinking about getting a gift yeah. for me. <laughs> so when you think of things. Like, can you imagine the thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not aphasia, is it? I don't know. Or is that where you forget how to speak languages? <laughs> um, Maybe I have that. I, <laughs> I just forget how to speak English. <laughs> I have that, yeah, when I think of, like, an apple. And people are like, what does the apple look like? And they have that picture of, like... I'm like, I have a fully formed apple on the table that I could pick up and eat. And yeah, put into I could, like, I could put the apple in my hand. And now it's balls. Yeah, like it's great when you want to picture someone naked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it's, whenever people are like, just picture them all in their underwear. It's like, wait, can some people not do that? I've never thought about that. People can't picture them in their underwear. Yeah, people are like, I have a condition. I can't think of anything. Wild. I can picture things perfectly in my brain, but I can't replicate it on paper. <laughs> Damn, because some people just think of an apple. Wait, hold on. I don't they, they can't think they can't picture the apple. I guess they just see like the word in it. It's the same with the people who say they don't have a voice in their head. Okay, but are we saying the same thing? Like you you have thoughts that are words in your head and pictures and stuff. Like you can think in a voice, right? Or do you just think a voice in your head is something different, like a, another person talking to you? Wait, people can't have a voice like an inner monologue? Apparently. That's how I think. Yeah, I don't know if people are thinking the same thing. Like, can you not hear lyrics in your head then? Do you not sing songs in your head? What? Or do you think a voice in your head is like someone being like, I don't like you, Sean McLaughlin. <laughs> like, do they think it's a separate person talking to you? Because for me, it's just like, no, I just think in words all the time. And I talk to myself in my brain. Do you ever try and scream in your head? 
Yeah. <laughs> it's That's how cool. I do voices all the time. Yeah. Because I'm like, I hear a voice and I'm like, I know exactly how to do that. I can like imagine where it is in my throat uh-huh. and then hear it in my head. Yeah, sometimes sometimes I can just like scream in my head and then it it, it like kinda does something like do it, do my, it now. My do it now. Okay. <laughs> Guys, did you hear wow, it? Wow, that was loud. <laughs> I don't but know I, what like, I, was I can like feel it behind my eyes a little bit. If I'm yeah. Kidding. Yeah. You can feel the rage where you want to just like rip someone's face off. You're like, ah! oh! Well, oh, that was that was doing it out loud. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I've never thought about people who don't have thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought about people who are brain dead. Whoa, brain leak! How can my brain be so active and so dead at the same time? Did you know that we only use ten percent of our brain? Hmm? That's bullshit. Limitless. <laughs> Bradley Cooper, raccoon. Oh, I wonder what I would think of if we played the word association game, if I could use all of my brain. Ethan, have you ever heard of a little clothing brand called <laughs> Cloak? Oh man, that rings a bell in my ears. I think I have heard about it. Is it soft? Is it comfortable? Does it really just get you fashionable as a gamer? Oh, not only does it get me fashionable, it gets me hard as the only CEO of the company. I can really vouch for the quality of it. It's high quality tech wear. We got new stuff coming out. We've got a colorway dropping May 15th for Cloak. Oh man, is it made special? Partnership with the podcast with my fan favorite tactical collection softline forms are back in cool new colorways shark skin purple rain and brain leak What you nailed it. It's almost like you read it off a script It's oh! so accurate to what we're doing damn that makes me rock hard <laughs> You can rock out with your cock out and cloak uh, That's right, and I am so excited because not only is this new colorway coming out but also people can get 10 percent off site wide 10 percent off i i wasn't told this this is daylight robbery for my company yeah well you can go to cloakbrand.com slash brain leak and use code jack shit his pants for 10 percent off that's code jack shit his pants at cloakbrand.com slash brain leak uh, that wasn't run by me? Did you set this up? Are you making fun of me? No, 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 no. It's all part of business, baby. It's, it's all, all part of business. part of the plan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so go to cloakbrand.com slash brain leak and use the code Jack shit his pants, no spaces, to get 10% off. 10% off? More like 100% on my body and it's cloak. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up today, as I do every day, at like 6 a.m., where I'm like, I, I, I never sleep like eight hours back to back fully. It's very rare that I do that. So I'll wake up at like 6 a.m. sometimes and like go to the bathroom or something. I woke up today with Megan Trainer's song in my head that like, I can wear my Louis Vuitton, mm-hmm. but even with nothing on. I made you look. I made you look. I've never listened to that song ever. Huh. I've only heard it through TikTok. I didn't hear it before bed. I haven't heard it in probably a month. And I woke up with that chorus in my head going. I'm like, yeah. what is happening? And then I went back to bed, fell asleep, and then I woke up with the Mandalorian theme in my head. Weird. It's like songs are playing before I wake up. I had a nightmare last night, and I'm upset at myself because, because well, it's probably fine because I had one of those dreams where I woke up and I was like, oh, that would be a cool short film. I should write this down. And then I didn't. But I think if I did write it down, I would look back at it and be like, this is stupid. This is making, it's like scary. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> like you can't form words. There was a man that was scary. And he, and he ran. was in my brain. <laughs> oh. uh, but I had a nightmare and I woke up with sweats everywhere, and then I hid under my blankets for a bit because it was the middle of the night, and I was scared. <laughs> what does that say? I, okay, let's get into, like, dream theory then. I don't think he should have face revealed. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, um, so I don't give two shits one way or the other about face reveals. 
It's up to the person, do what you want. But at the same time, I have such wacky dreams all the time mm. where I realize that I have like nightmares constantly. I don't have, it's not like I'm, well, I am dying in my dreams a lot. I have like dreams where I'm like at the airport, but I forgot my passport or the mm. ticket. And then I have like, oh, can I make it before the plane takes off? And then sometimes I have it where I'm flying the plane. Is this a reoccurring dream? The plain ones are, where I'm like on a plane and I'm the one flying it or it's taking off and I'm in the cockpit watching it. But it's like taking off on a road that has trees either side of it. And I'm always worried that the wings are going to hit the trees. Hmm. And it's really weird. We should, we should, for an episode, talk to a dream analyst. But I also have dreams where I like die a lot or I'm about to die or I've killed someone and I'm trying to get away with it. And I think that that's like online culture where, I don't know, it's not like I'm hiding anything, but it's like online culture where people want to know everything about you. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you feel like you have secrets to keep. Like people don't know, people don't know 100% of you through the internet. Yeah. So it's like, my brain interprets that as like, you've killed someone and people are trying to like find it out. I have a reoccurring dream that I haven't had in a, in a while, but it's this dream that is really scary for me saying it out loud it's not that bad well it's kind of creepy so i'm in this like white all white void and then oh in the void these flowers start to come out of the ground and then they bloom and out of the blossoms there's a bunch of little people and they start walking towards me speaking gibberish and so i can't understand what they're saying and they start speaking faster and faster and like with more and more urgency and so in the dream i start like freaking out because i can tell that like they need help or i need to do something but i can't understand what they're saying and they just keep like walking towards me slowly speaking louder and louder and faster and faster and then sometimes in real life i will wake up and i'll still like be kind of hallucinating uh and so i'll still like hear the voices um and then yeah, that's creepy. about a year ago, I told my mom that because I guess I had never told her about this dream. And then she was oh, no. like, I have the same reoccurring dream. Yeah, e Evelyn gets like hallucinations a lot. Sometimes it's like it can be related to medications that like alter your brain. So like sleep paralysis? Not really. Just like waking up and there's like a person in the room. Ugh. And like she's she's had it a couple of times where... She like wake up and there's like someone like st like at the edge of the bed. Oh! And then she has to like put her hand through it and then it's like smoke that kind of like dissipates. Oh. She had it last week where there was like a child at the end a side oh. of her, like under the windowsill. And he was like crawling along the wall. <laughs> and then he like came over and she had to like stop to like stop him getting closer. Ew, that's awful. Yeah. How does she do anything? Like I'm, I... I wouldn't be able to swipe it away. I'd be like, freaking out. It's weird because in movies, <clears throat> she's had sometimes when she's like laughed in her sleep or done like weird shit or like I've woken up and she was like in the corner of the room, like Blair Witch style. Yeah, and really? it's really freaky sounding. It's really freaky sounding out loud, but and in horror movies, I'm like, no, I would be gone. And then in real life, I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> like, go back to bed. <laughs> They're like, oh. at no point in my brain was I like, this is so fucking scary. I yeah. was like, come back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I was I was like, you should draw these. And she started drawing them for a while. And I was like, these are so cool. Do you ever uh, do you ever have conversations with her when she's sleep talking? Like, you know that she's sleep talking and then you'll talk back and see if you get a response? No, because a lot of times she sleep talks in Dutch. So oh. I don't know what she's saying. But there are, there are times where she's like mid, like that hallucinate, hallucinogenic state. She's in that state where it's like half asleep, half awake. So she's speaking, but she doesn't know she's speaking. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I'll be like, she'll be like, what was that? And I'm like, what was what? <laughs> she's like, eh, thing, you didn't see it? And I was like, nope. <laughs> so now we say, whenever that happens, we say Oklahoma as like our safe word. Yeah. So she's like, if she hears that, she's like, oh, she's going back to sleep. It's real. <laughs> it's real. Uh, that's, has she ever fully slept walk, like gone out of the room and you like go downstairs and she's in the kitchen making a pot of soup, but the, but the, but the stove isn't on. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
No, have you done that? That sounds very specific. No, I get afraid of sleepwalking, and I get afraid of sleep paralysis, and I'm afraid of, like, because I've never had sleep paralysis before, but mm. I'm afraid if I talk about it too much, then my brain, something's going to flip in my, ba in my brain, and then I'm going to have it. I don't think you have to worry about your brain doing anything. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I used to get sleep paralysis a lot when I was a teenager where I didn't get the ones where it's like hallucinations and like a demon sitting on your chest or anything like that. I would get it where I woke up, feel like I'm fully awake, I can't move, and the only way to get out of it is to like focus so hard on my arm that I, I have to like jerk it awake. I, it's not like suddenly you fall back asleep or something. Because I'm, I'm aware that it's sleep paralysis. I'm aware that I'm still sleeping or my body's still sleeping and then I think about going back to sleep but that feeling of no control I'm like no it's too scary to like fall back asleep in case I don't wake up Ugh. so e even in it I'm like you should go back to sleep because this is this is happening again and if you wake up you'll be fine yeah. but I have to like jerk my hand awake and I don't think I'm actually doing it I think it's in my head that it's happening and then once that arm is free I can move the rest of them so I can like move my head and I'm like okay now it's free and I can do whatever I want and that I would get like once a week for like a couple of months, I think. Huh. That was awful. I hated it. I also am so afraid of one, having one, but almost more like being in bed with somebody having one, uh, a night terror, because I would be so. <laughs> an orgasm. An <laughs> orgasm. I would be so afraid, like waking up in the middle of the night to like someone sleeping beside me, like screaming. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, God. But yeah, let, let me know what our dreams mean, if anyone in the comments knows. Even if it's... I, I don't subscribe to the idea that like our dreams are our real thoughts kind of stuff. I don't get like super spiritual about it, but I think it's cool to hear. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's just my anxiety is forming in ways that I play a lot of video games and movies, so my brain puts it into like crazy scenarios. Mm -hmm. Or it's like a murder mystery or I did I had one dream one night where I was a female cop walking the beat and I was walking around and I got stabbed by somebody who I was arresting and normally when it's like getting stabbed it's like well I don't know what that's like so I can't feel it and I wake up or my body kind of like snaps me out of it or has a way that I don't die and I had one night like that where I fully died and like felt it and I was like gone and then like I was I could feel like my body from my feet to my head, like fading. Whoa. And like the fe the sense of feeling going away. And then I was like in my head and being like, this is the next journey. I'm I'm heading out, whatever's next. I don't know what it's gonna be. And then I woke up and I was like, whoa, that's the closest I've gotten to like seeing the afterlife Jesus. in my dream. And I, I woke up and I was like, I don't wanna do that anymore, stop. <laughs> I don't wanna dream anymore. Yeah, if anybody uh, knows stuff about dreams, uh, go on the subreddit. Uh, and make a post there, and then maybe in one of the next episodes we'll we'll read some of your analyses of our dreams. Um, yeah. But for now, we're just going to give you terrible advice on things. Run the theme song! I don't remember what I it is. I think we did so it enough can... from last time. Yeah. Ethan and Sean give bad advice. It's bad advice with Ethan and Sean. All right. Rihanna Redmond, or Rihanna, I'm not sure how you pronounce your name. My son recently asked me where babies come from. What should I tell Ooh. him? <laughs> this is a classic. Oh. A classic. You have a real chance to fuck up this kid forever if you want to. I was about to say that. So I kind of wish because people, uh, I was talking to some people recently and they were talking about things that their parents told them as kids and then they later mm. realized that they were lies. Um, like like Santa Claus and true love. Um, so I think <laughs> that you should start a conspiracy theory early on. And I think yeah. I I'm not sure how old your son is, but I think that you should tell him that babies aren't real. <laughs> That's what I think you should do. Yeah. Like, there's they're something from, like, another dimension or aliens or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get your kid hooked on conspiracy theories young. Yes, and I think that uh, you should, if he's like, well, wasn't I a baby? And then you just, what? <laughs> what did you just say? You were a baby? You think that you were a baby? And then you have to start crying. You have to go. Yeah, just start, just start gaslighting the shit out of your kid. You think 
that I would have let you be a baby. Now. Keep it, keep it going. Stay in it. Stay if in it. Oh I my God. Have done anything in my life. I think that I would have raised a better son than that to think that I would have a baby. Do you know what babies do? Do you have any idea? And then you have this whole thing about how babies. Bravo. Thank there you. were tears coming down uh, this man's face. How babies descended from outer space, and they're the reason that the Amazon rainforest is crumbling. They eat the Amazonian trees. They kill the great white rhinoceros that's gone extinct. They're the reason that the planet is being destroyed. <laughs> extinct. <laughs> <laughs> You should start blaming babies for everything. Oh, just, or just convince your kid to be like, what do you mean babies? Well, what's a baby? Yeah, gaslight your like, kid. It's just like, mom, that's a baby over there. Be like, that woman's on her own. What are you, what are you talking about? Just like sixth sense them. Man. You know, that's really or fucked blame up. babies for everything, like inflation. <laughs> <laughs> it's really fucked up, but you really can just gaslight a child. <laughs> Yeah, really easily. It's just like, oh man, that's a really pretty bird. The fuck are you talking about? That's a tree. Or like, because kids' imaginations are wild, you can just be like, yeah. do you see that thing? And then eventually trick them into thinking. Seeing birds again, huh, sweetie? Mm, it's like, mom, one. I fell down and hurt my knee. Did you? Did you really? Did you really? Mm. Mom, I'm bleeding. No, you're not. Blood isn't real. It's, uh, yeah. We have air inside us. That's why they say it's so important. It's something that the far left liberals made up. <laughs> <laughs> Only frogs bleed. Oh, Are you a frog? Is the water turning your frogs gay again? Hmm. Just gaslight the shit out of your child for everything. Be like, Mom, I want, I want a drink. It's like, what, what do you want to drink? Water? What's that? What is that? <laughs> the clear liquid. That, that comes out of the taps, that's blue. Oh, Just start, man. oh, start making your kid oh. think that colors are not the way the colors should be. Oh! Mom, convince your kid! Blue sky! The sky's red, sweetheart! Convince your kid that they're colorblind! Oh! <laughs> that goes so well with the one we had last time. Oh, or man. a previous episode. Oh, that's so Yeah, that would work so well. Oh, man. I'm, and use your kid as a social experiment, like Truman Show them, where it's like, just start convincing them of a whole bunch of shit and then send them off to school and be like, good luck. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Damn, you really can do that. Because kids go to school. How, how early do kids go to school? What's the age of a... Like four or five. Kids? Yeah, you got plenty of time to make them think things. Yeah, and it's like by the time they're five, that's when their brains turn on. So you can make them forget that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. Or you can just create memories then and there. Mm -hmm. Like, remember when mom used to trick me all the time? Just keep it running for life. Convince your kid that they have to move out when they're 12 or when they start going to, like, secondary school, high school type of time. Just convince them that they actually have to start getting a job. They need to pay their way. You get you get rent from that kid mm -hmm. real easy. This is true. And it all comes from telling them that babies aren't real. <laughs> it all starts at home. It all starts in the home. <laughs> And then just tell them that Santa Claus isn't real immediately. Mm -hmm. Just crush this kid's spirit. Yeah. I want to see what that kid turns out into. Man. Are they villainous or are they just a sweetheart who believes everything? Man, that's fun. Like, uh, on, a, on a different level that is not harmful, like, you can make up, like, a mythical creature kind of like Santa Claus. <laughs> Like a whole different thing. You could make up, if you like the idea of Christmas, but you don't want to do Christmas, you could make up your own holiday and be like, there's, yeah. a, there's the front door, man. That kicks <laughs> Mary <down> Crumples. <laughs> Here comes the knock knock man. <laughs> the knock knock man. And you just uh, dress up as a door knocker. It's like, <laughs> knock on his face, sweetie. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Knock on his face and he'll give you sweet gifts. Yeah, now give him a hug. Hug the door. Hug the door. <laughs> Lock all the doors before the knock-knock man comes. Oh, God. Oh. He'll leave a baby on our steps, right, honey? 
You remember when you thought babies are real? Oh, man. Or you could teach your child, like, horrible safety. Once a year, you have to leave all the doors and windows <laughs> open. <laughs> and the bleach everywhere. God. Oh, you should convince your kid that babies come from Santa. That he oh. makes them in a lab at the North Pole. The elves make Santa. And the elves are just former babies oh, that's that good. he created himself to make more babies. It's the graduation ceremony for the elves. Yeah. They're all Congratulations babies. Congratulations, make more of you. They're all babies. And once they hit a certain age, the elves have to leave the factory because they've, they've done their duties in the factory making the toys. Is it any crazier than thinking a guy in the clouds made every human? No, it's just a different, it's just a different angle. Make, oh, just make up a different religion for your kid to follow. That's what everyone else did. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that that's basically what religion is. <laughs> it's like, you know that language you speak? We just fucking made it up one day and now you speak it. We did. And you don't understand any of the other ones because we don't like those people. <laughs> we don't want to learn it, so you're not going to learn it. Imagine if we just spoke every language at birth and every kid just spoke every language and we all got along. What a world that would be. I mean, everybody has that potential, technically speaking. At some point, not anymore. Not Our anymore. brains are closed off. If I'm, we got Limitless, like that guy, John Limitless, we John would be... Limitless. <laughs> I'm so envious of people that speak multiple languages. I fucking wish. Yeah. I... Yeah, everyone speaks three, and I'm sitting here like, wow. She speaks... Oh, yeah, she speaks Japanese as well. Anyway, lie to your children. Make up whatever you fucking want. It doesn't matter. You can ruin them however you want. You made it. You know, Ethan... As podcasters and people with no brains and it's leaking out all the time and we have ADHD and we forget to do things all the time, a lot of times I forget to eat. A lot of times I forget to get the nutrients that I need for my brain to be happy. And it's really important for this old noggin to be balanced with nutrients because sometimes I go up and down and up and down and that affects my mood. If only there was a simpler way. I know, I wish that I had just like a little powder that I could just take a simple scoop of it, put it in a water bottle, shake it up, and I get everything that I need to have a great day and feel healthier. Wait, what's that? Jamie, what are you pulling up? Oh, oh, athletic oh, Greens! It's athletic Greens! Oh! I've tried a ton of different supplements out there. And all the time it's like they have this, they have that, but they don't have everything. They don't have a one-stop solution for everything. And it's always a pain in the ass to shake it up. It always ends up clumpy. But AG1 from Athletic Greens is nice. It's powdery. It's tasty. It's good. It smells great too, actually. Yeah, and it's nice that you don't have to take a bunch of pills every day. You don't have to be like an old person where it's like, okay, it's Tuesday, and then here's my pills for Tuesday. It's just a thing that you drink every morning, every evening, whatever, yeah. after a workout, before a workout, anything. I have a nonstop busy life of podcasting. I just can't stop podcasting. I see people in the streets, and I'm like, uh, Jamie, pull it up. So it saves me time and hassle that I can just get on with my day. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it improves my tummy health. I'm so hot and my tummy hurts, but not anymore. Now I'm hot and my tummy doesn't hurt. My hair and my skin feel good. My sleep is better, thanks to Athletic Greens and AG1. I know why that is. I know exactly why that you feel better. It's because Athletic Greens has 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, and whole food source ingredients. You're putting that in your body? Of course you're gonna have a good time. It's a party in my ass and every nutrient is invited. <laughs> and you know, it's a great bang for my buck too because it replaces all of these other things that I need to be taking and it's just one simple one-stop solution. It's great. So if you're looking for a simpler and cost-effective supplement routine, Athletic Greens is giving you a free one year supply of vitamin D and five free travel tickets. Five free travel packs with your first purchase. They don't sell, they're not a travel agent. They don't sell tickets to places. <laughs> you can get that at athleticgreens.com slash leak. That's athleticgreens.com slash L-E-A-K. Go check it out. I assume this one is supposed to be I want to be a best friend from Akai, Moon Clover June. They said, I want to be a best friend for the rest of my life. How do I get one and how do I make them stay? Hmm. Mm. This, oh, we, we can go into gaslighting territory on this as well. Have you ever seen those TikToks 
where guys are like, this is how I get my girlfriend to stay. Every day I clip a bit of something off something in the house. And then she's like, where did that go? And you're like, what do you mean? And then she needs you. <laughs> so then you Christ. find it after you've hidden it and then you give it back. So they think you're their savior. Oh man. You do so that bad. with a person. You start breaking into their house, mm -hmm. hiding items around their house. When they need it, I don't know how you figure this out. You walk down the street with a toothbrush hanging off your face. <laughs> <laughs> hanging off of your face. And they're like, that's my toothbrush. And you're like, yes, yes, it is. You can become their mythical figure. I found it. It was trying to escape you. Yeah. But I saved it. I feel like this is getting too close to the last answer, though, where you're just gaslighting someone into needing you more and more. Mm -hmm. This is basically kind of Stockholm Syndrome, I guess. Falling in love with your captor. Yeah, but you. But that's the thing. You have to toe that line because you said you yeah, want to be a. Kidnap. You said that you want to be a best friend, not not in a relationship, not in a romantic relationship. So they can't. As much as we love much. giving out bad advice, you can't get too criminal with it. Mm -hmm. Like you, you can't just like kidnap someone and keep them in a cage in your basement. Well, you that's can. That's way too far. Technically, you could. I guess if you didn't get caught... You can do anything that you set your mind to. That doesn't mean that you should, but I'm we're, just saying... We're not trying to downplay your potential. We do think you have the potential yes. to do anything. Yes, any of you could kidnap anybody. That doesn't mean that you should, but I'm just yeah, saying... Yeah, you just said you wanted a best friend, not that it had to be amicable. They just have to be your best friend. You do, they don't need to be... They don't need you to be their best friend. Does the question state anything about this friend being a human? Hmm? That's true. Because what are rocks for other than to paint little faces on and make <laughs> your best friend forever? Hmm? What do you want out of this best friend is really key to oh, all of this. Oh, that is good. Do you want like do you want a like, conversation or do you just want company? Yeah. Because technically you could just watch a YouTuber. Or you could if you want company and just somebody to listen to you. I think that the rock is kind of the perfect, uh, the perfect thing, and not like, du like Dwayne Johnson. Well, that could work too, because <laughs> he does have the personality of a rock. <laughs> yeah, and he's never gonna, he's never gonna talk back to you because he has to eat sixty thousand calories <laughs> a day to maintain his. Yeah, don't be around him when he doesn't have enough protein, because he'll yeah. go full cannibal on you. He will just eat you. Oh man, we should do that for a video. We should try and do the Rock's diet for a day. Try and eat human meat. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say. We should just see what it's like. I don't know. Don't knock it until you've tried it. How bad could it be? Maybe it's so good. I did see somebody say that if someone gives you consent to eat them, is that vegan? <laughs> or or so it was something like that because isn't that about like a consensual thing? I think that kind of depends on who you ask as far as like what the definition of veganism is. Because yeah. I don't know if it's always does the animal give you consent. I think it's just eating anything from an animal. Yeah, what if a parrot comes up and it's like, eat me! <laughs> yeah. Like, he, he fucking said he it. He said it. Let's not delve into cannibalism just yet. We need a few more episodes under our belts yeah, before we'll we get into that. that. Oh, man. We'll, we'll talk about Army Hammer and his whole... Or the... <laughs> shtick. What's the... What's the... The thing... The, the big one. The big cannibalism one. I don't know why I can't think of it right now. The Donner Party. M mass cannibalism? You know about the Donner Party? No, oh. I know about the Dahmer party. No, 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 no. This is different. What's the Donner party? The like Donner, a kebab? The Donner party, it, it's called, am I, you're gaslighting me now. It's called the Donner Wait, party, right? In uh, Okay, here's where my brain is going with what I've heard. Donner meat is like an amalgamation of other meats hanging up like lamb and chicken and stuff. And like you slice off bits of it. Are you going to tell me it's multiple people mixed together on a rotisserie that you cut off slices of and eat? No. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Not even close. The Donner Party. I the Dahmer Party isn't a thing. I mean, there's Jeffrey okay. Dahmer, who also was a cannibal. a cannibal. The Donner Party 
uh, was a group of American pioneers who migrated to California in a wagon train from the Wid- from the Midwest. But eventually, they uh, they got stuck in the snow and they had to eat each other. Oh, allegedly! The Trail. Allegedly, it's crazy. It's like that movie Alive. Well, I don't where know. Where they about crash that. land and have to eat each other. Damn. It's like a they crash from a plane in the Alps. Or oh, someplace. sure. Or the Andes. A plane. Mm. Yeah. For any anyone listening, I throw up the, the air quotes because we all know about it. Yeah, every time a plane crashes, it's all fun and games until that one guy is like, now that I have you all here, <laughs> <laughs> so let's, true. I have a proposition. Mm-hmm. Anyway, to get a best friend, I don't like that we've delved into cannibalism on this. No. I, I, there has to be a smarter way. There's got to be a better way. <laughs> There's got to be a better way than cannibalism. Money? Yeah, you can just pay them. I mean, you could just be likable and charming and have W Riz, but... Oh, that takes effort. And that takes... that depends on a lot of factors. No one wants to do that. You should just start watching those videos from those big alpha men to become a top G. That's what you should do. <laughs> and like charisma coaches. Mm-hmm. Those guys who are like judging body language and talk about charisma and... Yeah, alpha energy. That's a good one, yeah. It's all about that alpha energy. If you have the alpha energy, then all of the betas will be, you know, they'll have to... They can't lead you astray. Because look how many people like them. Mm-hmm. Look how many people subscribe to their this ideas. This is true. If you put me and you in front of your bitch, chances are I'm taking her. Or whatever that dude said. It's true. You see that yeah, guy? Om- I reacted to him in one of my videos, yeah. And I was like, let's put Evelyn in front of both of us and see what happens. Also, like, that whole thing was the fucking cringiest thing ever. Oh, God. oh, it's... Have you seen the guy... I think we talked about it in person, but we haven't talked about it in an episode. The guy who gets paid by other men to get their significant others to fall in love with them to prove that they're willing to cheat... So what? they meet and like email back and forth and he's like, I'm worried my wife is going to cheat on me or my girlfriend or my significant other or whatever. And he's like, I hire you to see if you proposition yourself to my significant other, will they engage? So it's like paying someone to be a cuck? Yeah. <laughs> no, you're paying to be the cuck. That's so... Ah, what is our world? It's so... And then he's like, the guy's like, yeah, so this, and it's it's done in this format where he's like, so this guy, uh, I emailed him and he said that he wanted me to text his wife. So yeah, you can see in this text message here, I uh, text his wife and yeah, she was into it. She said that she was into younger guys and uh, I'm a younger guy. So I wrote back this and uh, just really trying to like get into her. And it's like, oh, what the this isn't f- real probably, but at the same time, maybe someone's done this in the past. Like, if you have trust issues like that, maybe talk to them and not hire somebody else to force your... Well, not force, but coerce your significant other into cheating. There's so much crazy shit. We should save it for uh, another episode, but I want to talk about some wild reality TV dating shows, like Love Island okay. and other things. Oh, like Love is Blind and Milf Manor? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Oh, that's a whole episode that's for a whole sure. Episode. There's one uh there's one show in particular called Oh, The Ultimatum. Um and oh. it, uh, the concept for the show is wild. We'll save it for another episode, but ho okay. we Hoo-wee. There's other things we can do in person as well that's not just like, oh, horseback riding and everything. We can just sit down and react to shit too. This is so if true. you guys have good stuff to react to, let us know. This is true. Have you somebody, watched Milk Can somebody Manor? make a Google Doc? Oh, Google Doc, Google Doc. For stuff for us to react to. I haven't. I haven't but watched I, it either. So I, I would like to. We could save it. We could save it and watch it yeah. too. Anyway, we have another one that came in from Kalen Santos that said, and uh, shout out leakers. <laughs> said, answer this for me. How do I tell my friend that I can't make it to his wedding? I mean, you could go the route and be like, sorry, I'm busy. But I think we craft an elaborate heist. I think we craft an elaborate kidnapping. Oh. Where you don't have to tell him anything. It's like, oh, I have a family emergency. And then no one really asks questions about that. But you could be the emergency. This is so good because then you can help your friend out. Okay, so you stage this whole thing, and then they get hand-delivered when they're at the altar 
a VHS tape with a CRT and someone rolls it in like a teacher when they have nothing planned for the day. Or like a court. <laughs> yeah. And then it's this it's this like ransom video. And it's like, I will only release your friend if the bride yeah. says yes. Oh, yeah. Really manipulate them into staying together. And you have to have like a note in your hand with your hands bound together. Uh-huh. And just be like, I am reading this of my own free will. Mm -hmm. If Gerald wants to ever see me again, Samantha has to say yes. I know how this. I know how this starts. Instead of instead of the ring bearer walking down the aisle, it's someone pushing the TV, <laughs> and it has to have like a really squeaky wheel, so the whole crowd like hushes. <laughs> yeah, and it has to be the grainiest, shittiest VHS that you can do. Yeah, this is perfect. Perfect. Oh, this is so oh, good. Oh, yeah. And then just, well, you actually don't want to go to this wedding. Um, so maybe I was going to say we can like elaborate on that, bring it out to a point where then suddenly you're like wheeled in or like a car drops you off and it's like you're still bound and gagged. It's like, they let me go because your love is real. But you said you didn't want to go to this. So, yeah. Do you like these people? <laughs> I guess you could just say n no, but... Well, that's good advice. I don't like that. No, this is true. Being honest has never worked for anybody. It makes people feel bad. I think that, I think that, yeah, staging a kidnapping is kind of the best. Because they can't blame you for that. How are they going to blame you for that? You should kidnap one of the wedding party. So then no one has to go to the wedding. Yeah, kidnap the person that's getting married. Burn down the venue. They can't get married if there's no venue. That's good. <gasps> it's a long con. You buy out a wedding venue, okay? You buy out the wedding venue. You start a successful wedding chapel business. We, no, we've we've talked in previous episodes how to make money quick. People know. Okay. We can skip okay. that part. Okay, yeah. And so then you burn it down, but then you get the insurance money. Yeah. So not and then only you get to go on their honeymoon. Oh, that's good. You buy out the honeymoon from underneath them. Yes. Yeah. And then and through the ashes, the ring is still left because diamonds are forever. Oh, and what you can do is you can write a, a a little clause when they have to sign for the for the wedding venue is that if in an event where the entire wedding uh, place burns down, you also get any of the wedding gifts. And, yes. And you get free catering. All of the catering gets to go to your house. Yeah, you should embed that. Like, have have you ever seen the movie The Santa Claus with Tim Allen? Which is an, a genius title for a movie. He's Santa Claus, but there's a clause in the contract for being Santa. Mm -hmm. And when he Legal picks up jargon. that card, it's it's written in the border of that card. You can just have like an elaborate floral frame border around that document, but it's like the words are just blended into that where no one's going to read it, but they sign it anyway. Mm -hmm. So <gasps> then it's like, I have a legal document proving that you can't ask me any questions. Or, so you either do that, or if you think that they're really going to snoop, what you do is you write the document in two languages, and so they don't know the other language. They think that you're just being inclusive, but really mm -hmm. it's a whole other thing that negates anything that's written in English. Yeah. It's like the whole, like saying I do but your fingers are crossed it's like that that marriage is a sham that clearly means nothing in the eyes of God you can get that you can get divorced and annulled real quick because you'd be like look there's footage of the wedding fingers were crossed you don't even have to you don't even have to get divorced because out of the out of the out of the gate it's null and void yeah you're not even married mm -hmm. oh my god I think what you should do okay the final scenario for this is that on the day of their wedding, you throw a party at the same time and invite all the same people. Ooh. It, it, it's like a Tanacon situation. You can call it Tanacon as well. You could, yeah. Um, just don't leave people out in the sunshine to get burned to death. And that's what they're going to do at the wedding anyway. Yeah. Everyone hates weddings. It's seeing other people's true love flourish forever. It's like, <laughs> whatever. Ugh, gross. You, you need to make the day about yourself. Even You can dress in white, too, for your own party and call it the super good party. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to keep it really simple, you can just 
do what they could do at the wedding. What we were just talking about with crossing your fingers. They say, hey, do you want to come to your our wedding? You have shitty flip phone footage if you want proof. But you say, yeah, but you have your fingers crossed. Yeah, just out of frame. Mm -hmm. Easy. Yeah. I, I, th I say just lie. Say that you're coming and then don't. Yeah, it's easy. There's so many people at the wedding anyway. They're not going to know. Are they going to miss you? Yeah, no, I don't think so. <sighs> Maid of honor? What does that even mean? Yeah. That's a bullshit term. Exactly. Marriage is a, is, is a, a, a concept. 50% of them end in divorce anyway, so just flip a coin. Yeah. Say, I'll be there for the divorce. Perfect. Now that's a top G move. Yeah. Say, say hey, go. you're about to have the best weekend of your life. I'll be there when you really need me. <laughs> yeah. Be like, I'm not going to the wedding because I know where this is going. Yeah. Perfect. This is great. I do. Sure you do, buddy. Till death do us part. More like till death do us fart. Am I right? <laughs> huh. Nice wedding. Would be a shame if someone farted on it. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, back to the very beginning of this when you said uh, uh, LA leakers. I think if we ever make merch, we need to make jerseys. And we need to have a cool oh, sports logo. yeah. We just need to skirt that copyright line as close mm -hmm. as possible. It's just close enough. We're funny. We're funny guys. We know about parody law. <laughs> yeah, we'll funny goof it. Mm. Don't worry. L.A. Leakers coming soon. Coming soon, baby. Anyway, that does it for advice from us. I hope you guys are living better lives now, whether it's from prison or not at a wedding. Mm -hmm. Shout out Leakers. Shout out Leakers. Shout out Leakers. All over the world. People leaking everywhere. People leaking left and right, up and down, everywhere you look, there's a leak. If you want to get advice from us, go to questions at brainleak.com. Well, don't go to it. Email it. Mm -hmm. questions. <laughs> I saw some people being like, the, the web address doesn't work. I'm like, no, it's an it's a email. It's a email. Questions at brainleakpod.com. Yeah. Brain go there. Wondering. Send us your advice. We'll give terrible advice. It'll be funny. Have fun. Yeah. Well, that's another... Gorgeous Another episode. uproarious episode. Up. We're so good at this. Roarious. And again, go to the subreddit, which is r slash brain leak. Brain leak. Just r slash brain uh, leak. And uh, analyze our dreams. Maybe we'll do that next episode. Yeah. Just interact with us. Follow us everywhere. We also, we do it on all the th stuff, but people didn't realize that we do a video version of it as well, which is supposed to be going up on all of them eventually. But right now it's only on YouTube. So go there, subscribe. Right, like 120k subs. It's awesome. Hell yeah, baby. Hell yeah. Um, and again, thank you guys all for, for listening. We have so much more leaking to give. Oh, man. These pipes are this is a full of liquid, and we're about to leak everywhere. <laughs> this is a boat uh, bucket that just never stops <laughs> leaking. This is a boat. <laughs> and we're all sinking. <laughs> uh, see you next time. Stay leaky. Thank you, guys. Stay leaky. Bye-bye.